So we picked up this 2008 Mitsubishi Evolution 10 MR in June of 2020 for the ridiculously low price of $15,000. And at the time I made a video showing the new car and I titled it and called it the cheapest Evo 10 in the country. And I think at that price, it definitely was, and I don't think you'd find a car like it at the same price today. We got it so cheap because at the time, it did need a new engine. Um, it had low compression in cylinder two. We could still drive the car. It was still usable, but we just, to keep things safe, we wanted to put a new engine in it. So the price reflected that once we found out it had the issues. And since then, we've also changed a lot of the parts and upgraded the car to suit Letitia's taste because this is her Evo 10. So I thought it's been two and a half years since we picked it up. We bought it as the cheapest Evo 10 in the country. And after transforming it to what it is today, I kind of feel like it's, in my opinion, one of the, I don't want to say the best Evo 10s in the country, but it's one of the better. It's right up there. It's no longer the cheap Evo 10 you'd pick up at the bottom dollar. It's now going to be, if we sold it, fetching a really good price because it has a lot of quality parts. So I thought I'll make a video sort of covering that. I know I've done lots of videos fitting a lot of these parts to the car and I've done a mod list video on the car before but now we've changed a few more things and I feel like the car is pretty close to being done it's in its kind of final form um, there's not a whole lot left that we want to do to this car so I thought why not make a video and sort of talk to you guys why I think it's transformed so well and become what it is which is I think the perfect Evo 10 MR daily driver okay so like I said this was ridiculously cheap it was a bargain we couldn't refuse we were at the time saving up trying to buy a house and this popped up Letitia had her Mitsubishi Rally Art Lancer at the time and I thought you know what we're in the process of buying a house but at this price we could buy this car fix it up sell the Rally Art and end up only a few thousand dollars worse off which is pretty much what happened we sold when prices were starting to climb again and we bought this during the sort of pandemic when prices were just bottoming out before people realize hang on if I'm going to be locked down, I want a car that I can build and have fun with and all that sort of stuff. So we got really lucky with the timing and the fact that we had money sitting there, we could just snap this right up at the price that it was. But it was a little bit rough and yeah, I'll put a few clips up of some of the areas if I haven't already of where the car needed some work. Obviously now you can see it looks absolutely perfect. It is well modified. It has very tasteful modifications, a lot of OEM stuff and a lot of well-selected aftermarket parts. So I wanted to just basically run over the video, show that we've kind of modified it in every single aspect. It's modified in and out, engine bay interior, exterior. The paint's looking great, even though it is a little bit dirty today because we'd have to drive in the rain to get here. But yeah, I thought I'll do a video and just sort of cover it. So like I said, the first thing is, and why we've got the car so cheap, was due to the engine being low in cylinder two, uh, low compression. So yeah, we did buy a new engine. So I'll pop the bonnet and I'll show you guys not only the new engine, which looks the same as an old one anyway, but some of the modifications we've done to make the engine bay look super tidy and modified. Okay, so really, as you can see, the engine bay, it's a work of art. It looks absolutely fantastic with all the carbon, the red, and the black touches. Now this did not look like this when we picked it up. I'll put a little clip of what it looked like before over the top here. Um, but as you can see, yeah, we've removed the factory engine cover. We've painted the valve cover red, which is actually the same red as the car, but just with a little bit more flake, a little bit more pearl in it. So yeah, the valve cover, the fuel rail, and the strut bar were all done in that. Um, we kept the wrinkle black for the intercooler piping and the intake, but we added some carbon touches, a catch can, and just a bunch of heat shields, and just really um, made it look really nice. This is honestly such a nice engine, but I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out. And um, we also, while the engine was getting replaced, all the parts got swapped over. So I did come with the tubular, tubular manifold, the Blausch Dominator Turbo. So th those were obviously swapped over. Everything was swapped from the old to the new engine but we got a new timing chain put in while the engine was sitting on a pallet because it made it far, far cheaper to do at the time and we also got the NRG Ops full wire tuck kit done so this is all done by AK Racing and yeah they we got the car checked by them before we picked it up they told us about the low compression 
um, they worked out a price if we were to buy it to drop it straight off to them and get everything fixed. So there was a few other issues with the car as well. It needed new tyres, it needed a few things fixed up, but the main thing was the engine. So we fixed all the other things up first, and then after about two months of owning it, we then dropped it off to get the new engine. So yeah, the wire tuck, as you can see, really nice down here in the intake manifold area, um, but the car was already running, the power it's running now, that's what made it such a good buy, because it was already a 290 or 390 wheel horsepower full bolt-on upgraded turbo Evo 10 and it already had um, a rebuilt SST just with factory clutches a few years before so everything in it was well done it just needed that new engine and the previous owner that we'd bought it off it seemed like or maybe the one before him um, hadn't really looked after it we know the person who did all the turbo and everything they looked after the car they loved it they unfortunately had to sell it just maybe after them it didn't get looked after so we had to fix a lot of the things up um, the other thing in here, I guess you can see, is also the coilovers. We have upgraded the coilovers, so we've rebuilt the MCAs that it came with and made them into MCA Reds, which is like the top spec sort of road-driven MCA suspension. Um, so this car handles just absolutely perfect now. So yeah, the engine bay has had a full refresh and you can see it looks absolutely amazing. Um, so that's one area that the car has really improved and like, I mean, I'll chuck up a clip, I guess, of what this car sounds like. but it sounds absolutely just the perfect Evo 10. It has really nice exhaust note, really nice turbo spool, um, blow off valve flutter, intake sounds. It is it is the full package, as well as being nice and quick and reliable with, yeah, like just under 400 wheel horsepower. So yeah, that's one area that we really fixed up on the car that makes it one of the best, um, because I mean, really look at this engine bay. It is right up there. There's not too much more you could do. Obviously I have, um, my addiction to titanium so that's another another sort of expense that my car has but when we sort of pop engine bays when we are at one of our evo 10 meets this one is definitely one that stands out and everyone really enjoys looking at so yeah i think it's something we've done really well with so yeah let's move on and show some of the changes we've made to the interior okay so the interior obviously is already a nice comfy place to be with some leather and suede recaros but what we have done is upgraded a lot of things to sort of OEM later model parts or added the black roof lining with the OEM black interior pillars so we've got the pillars A, B and C, the grab handles, the visors, all that stuff. That's something that really transforms the interior of these and something that this car definitely benefited from uh, when we did that upgrade. Also added the carbon steering wheel the SST footrests, some new floor mats, which are a little bit dirty because obviously, like I said, we're driving, it's a bit of a rainy day today, um, but with the red Lens Revolution and the red pinstriped uh, garnish. And we also did the sort of later model gloss black or piano black um, SST surround and cubby. And where we added the gauges that we had in the cluster. So as well as the door cards with the red leather stripes and the soft leather at the top here so the interior was already nice all we've done is just added some OEM and some tasteful aftermarket parts and just made it that much nicer and it's honestly a really nice interior I don't really think there's much you would change in this um, yeah it's like it's 2008 model so the seats are a little bit worn but nothing too bad at all and overall I think the interior is for an Evo 10, really nice. So yeah, there's a lot of parts we've we've added. Some were already in the car that we removed and upgraded to things that we liked, but yeah, I think there wasn't too much we had to do to the interior, but what we have done has really transformed it. And Letitia absolutely loves driving this car. It's just so comfy and smooth to drive. It doesn't have rattles, which mine actually has a few. So this car feels much nicer to drive much more luxury compared to mine with heated seats and stuff but yeah so another area that was slightly transformed that made this car from being one of the cheaper ones to one of the nicer ones let's move on now to basically some of the exterior mods and some of the things we fixed up okay so the last thing is the exterior now this car 
was a little bit sad when we picked it up. It had a lot of swirls and haze in the paint. Unfortunately, it's like a, as I keep saying, rainy day. So we did drive in the rain to get here. So the paint is actually dirty, but I don't know how well that's going to show up, but I did do a full paint correction on this ceramic coated it after we picked it up and I'll put a few clips of what the paint looked like before and yeah you can see after I guess as well when it's when it's clean I'll put a clip of that as well so we fixed up the paint we added some parts that it already had replaced them so the car did come with some aero side skirts unfortunately a previous owner at some point had pulled them off sicker flex them back on and they weren't sitting right so we actually just recently picked up a brand new set of OEM aero side skirts um, and while they're the same, the car does look a lot cleaner with them now sitting properly. Um, at the front was a huge upgrade that we had to make. So it came with an aero front lip that wasn't fitted, but it was like cracked and had been cut and wasn't sitting properly. Same thing. It was a really nice part, but it really annoyed Letitia how it was just basically down in here. It was cut to not actually be fitted properly. You could slip it straight over rather than sitting it the way it's meant to be fitted, which is by pulling the bumper off and bolting it on. So recently as well, we picked up a brand new OEM Aero front lip. It was actually slightly used, but it's closer to get to OEM, um, to brand new, sorry. But yeah, new OEM Aero lip, that has been fitted. We added the fog light deletes as well for an SST, that's pretty important. Um, and then at the front, just recently, you can see here, it's got the black trim garnish. So that's actually off a GSR. That's something we just recently fitted. I didn't film a video on it. Probably should have, but it's just kind of, just a nice weekend project for Letitia and I to do. Sat inside in the lounge room and pulled the bumper apart and fitted that one. But it did come with one, normally there's a chrome on the MR and it had been sort of like painted or plastic dipped by a previous owner and the paint was starting to chip off. You can see if it's a chrome underneath. Didn't look that nice. This was a very expensive part to replace just to make it look a little bit neater. But it's just one of those things that it just looking at the car when it is clean obviously it really does make a big difference rather than seeing these bits of paint that's touched up and chrome coming through now it's just a nice oem piece in plastic um yeah we've added obviously some like a carbon front grille and Letitia's custom number plates it did come with a really long like euro style plate bracket which we removed put the evolution by design one on um little bits of carbon spread it over the car like the scoop uh, we just recently got these club spec vents as well. We got the Ganador side mirrors, a new set of wheels because the car did come with some bronze um, Rays 57 DRs. But Letitia didn't like the bronze and the red look. I didn't mind it, but once we got these wheels that she picked, she was definitely right. They look a lot better and they suit the car. Gets lots of compliments with these wheels. And yeah, the side markers, the carbon vents, the Ganador mirrors, the OEM weather shields. Um, so a lot of nice and tasteful OEM parts. But originally, she was planning on wrapping the roof black at the start, but I think leaving it red is actually quite a nice touch. In these days, most people do wrap, wrap the roofs black. Um, and the round of the rear of the car. So it's got the OEM aero spats, which is great. And the aero gurney flap for the wing. So that's all part of the aero kit. What we did do is just change the tail lights. We didn't want to go, I know everyone likes the sort of Audi style or the, there's all, all the aftermarket tail lights. We're not really a fan of that look. So we just went with the OEM style light, smoked with the clear reflector. And just recently, pretty much one of the final touches to the car is this carbon rear diffuser. So the OEM style in carbon fiber. And yeah, we did a video on that. Really nice piece. And that's kind of finished the car off. So there was a lot of, I don't want to say dodgy parts, but just a lot of parts that weren't maintained. So the first thing we did was, yeah, fully service the car, get it back up to scratch. And then since then, just slowly we've been chipping away. And the last two and a half years, we have just sort of transformed the car into this, which I'm probably biased, but I get a little bit jealous. I feel like it's nicer than my car in a lot of ways. It's just so smooth and comfy doesn't scrub and scrape um, it's no rattles in the interior it's not just about how it looks it's about how it feels when you drive it how well it handles how it sounds it is the overall package so yeah I just thought just recently after fitting the carbon fiber diffuser 
it just sort of made me realize how far the car has come, how good it is now. And I just thought, you know what, two and a half years, this is pretty much it. There's little things. Leticia's kind of thinking about changing up the wheels just for something to do, I guess. Um, but I really like these wheels, but she kind of wants something a little different. So maybe that will happen. And she does have some custom number plates that she wants to change to as well. But apart from that, I don't think there's a whole lot. I think this project is pretty much done. So yeah, we did call it in the first few videos were called the cheapest Evo 10 in the country, gets new parts and all that. And I haven't called it that in a long time because it's no longer the cheapest. It is, if we were to sell it, it'd be pretty well priced for what it is. To replace this car, like I was even just adding it up while we're driving here. To buy a stock Evo 10 and get all these parts, it's close to $30,000 at least, $25,000 at least in parts to get this car to where it is now if you were to buy a stock one. So a lot of that did come in the car. We got really lucky buying at the time, but a lot of it is stuff that we've done since. So yeah, um, that's probably enough rambling on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Something a little bit different, but something that I just thought I'd end the series on this car. Like I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of projects, uh, a whole lot of mods left to do to it. So give it a sort of final send off in a way. Still gonna be videos on the car, obviously driving it and stuff, but yeah, I just thought why not make this video and show you guys what we've achieved with this build. So if you enjoyed it and you've enjoyed the build so far, give it a thumbs up. If this is the first video you've seen of this car, then there is a full playlist, which I'll link below in the description of all the videos we've done on this car. So from picking it up to now, if you want to watch through and see as the car evolves, then feel free to do that. And yeah, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Am I crazy or is this thing as good as I think it is? Because yeah, I have my Evo 10, which I've built to my taste, but sometimes I look at this and go, oh yeah, we, we did really well with this. Who should pick some really good parts and it's transformed into a great car. So yeah, um, subscribe as well if you're not already for plenty more Evo videos. But yeah, with all that said, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.